Now, your WLKY weather with meteorologist Daniel Johnson. All right, happy October, and because it's October, let's talk about the partial solar eclipse that's coming up in about 13 days on October 14th. We've been counting it down off and on throughout our newscasts, but we haven't given you a lot of details. So it's starting on Saturday at 1140 in the morning. It's going to look like this. This is the actual sun. It's going to look like a crescent moon because a chunk of the moon will block out a chunk of the sun. It's going to be pretty cool. You might not even notice it if you're out and about and if you're not paying attention because only about 40 to 50 percent of the sun will be blocked. The peak of that occurring will be at 104 in the afternoon. So if you're going to look at it, please wear special glasses. You can look them up online. There are special solar eclipse glasses. And then, of course, we have that total solar eclipse occurring in April of next year. So some pretty cool events coming up in our sky over the next several months. This one just 13 days away. So get ready. Here's a live look outside, a beautiful live look. That sun getting lower in the sky. The current temperature still in the mid 80s. It is very warm this evening. The humidity, a bargain, 37% and a wind between 5 and 10. Today's official high was 86 degrees, well above where we should be. 77 is the average high temperature. But we are in for a big pattern change late this week and into next weekend. So right now and through most of this week, it's going to be quite warm here. We're looking at high pressure and control. Look at all the reds and oranges uh, across our area. That is some warm weather, but a dip in the jet stream will move in from Canada, a trough of low pressure. That's going to bring us cooler than normal air, our first shot of chilly fall air as we head into next weekend. High temperatures will be in the 60s next weekend, low temperatures in the 40s. So it's going to be quite chilly for those overnight lows. And with that system will come a rain chance and we need the rain for sure. We're dry the next few days, but late Thursday and early Friday, scattered showers will be likely and that's gonna help a bit with the drought. Probably won't be enough to wipe it out, but every little bit of rain does help us out. 80s and 90s from Oklahoma to Texas, all the way through the Dakotas into Minnesota and across the Ohio Valley, so very warm but this is the leading edge of that cool air that will be here for the weekend. Right now in Billings, Montana, it's only 54. Salt Lake City, 69. Seattle, Portland in the 60s right now. And that cool air is heading our direction. But for the next several days, it's going to be quite warm. Enjoy it if you like the warm pattern. Right now in Madison, it's 79. Carrollton, 81. Shepherdsville, 84. 82 in E-Town. So a pretty warm afternoon as high pressures in control. Nothing going on across the eastern half of the nation. Tonight, clear skies. It will be right around average where we should be down to near 60 degrees for most of us for those overnight lows. A few spots could drop into the upper 50s tomorrow. Another warm one with mid to maybe even upper 80s. And you can see for your backyard, maybe a few of us could briefly hit 90, maybe Huntingburg uh, late tomorrow. So here's that planner for Monday. Straight sunshine from the early morning through the late afternoon with those highs reaching the upper 80s and then here comes our pattern change a couple of impact weather days thursday and friday no washouts most of that rain will be late thursday thursday night and the friday morning and then a fall weekend for sure saturday and sunday 60s for highs 40s for lows that will get the leaves changing nicely so i haven't seen 40s on that forecast in a while it's been a while Ouch. we're due here it comes <laughs> you ease people into it 80 80 60 40 bam a big drop <laughs> all right thanks daniel